ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special guest on the show today. We have none other than our very first player signing in club history. Number six, <laughs> Sergio Ruiz. Nice. Sergio, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure uh, to be here. Um, we are really thrilled to have you on the show. I, I have to say, I, I run all of uh, Mint City Collective social media. So for the longest time before we had a full team and really had anything else to talk about, I was following along your journey at Las Palmas and posting all your game uh, stats and everything like that. So it's it's great to not only have you in Charlotte now um, and not only to see you get some playing time, but really seeing you hitting your stride and getting more minutes on the field and, and just doing well. How are you feeling right now and how are you liking Charlotte? Yeah, it's it has been a long time since uh, I signed me my contract with Charlotte <laughs> until I'm here. But yeah, I'm very happy here uh, in the city, in the club, with all the teammates, with all the staff. Um, you know, the, the last game, the last uh, few games, I have been playing more and more, and I feel more comfortable in the beach. In the pitch. Um, yeah, last two games, uh, the score was was bad for us, but I think we are we are fighting for winning the in for being the playoff, and and we have uh, three games in a row at home that uh, it it have been. Uh, a good change to to win and to to keep in in the uh, in the fight. Yeah. yeah. So Sergio, what's been the biggest difference for you playing in MLS compared to other leagues that you played for, and has it been surprising coming into MLS? Yeah. Um, maybe the um, the good thing or the strength of the of these leagues is that it's uh, so physical. Um, I mean, uh, players are uh, strong and the. Uh, the game um, read uh, of the game is is high. Uh, in the other side, I think that um, tactically the, the the teams are a little bit worse than in, uh, in the Spanish uh, division. But um, I am b- very surprised about the level because you know uh, there are good teams, good players. Um, one positive thing is that here. You can win with any team, with any team, and you can lose with uh, any team. So yeah. this competition for me is, uh, is nice. It's uh, interesting. Um, you know, <laughs> we went uh, for for one to to Nashville and to the two games uh, later we lost for nil. So, uh, yeah, yeah, it it creates a lot of parity with that, which is good. So yeah, yeah. it's awesome. So thanks for sharing. So. Um, so lately, like with your increase of minutes and playing on the on the field more, but what's been your more preferred role in the midfield? If more of a like box to box, or do you prefer attacking or holding? Like, what do you prefer as a player? Yeah, I think like uh, like an eight, like a box to box, to be the freedom to arrive to the goalie. Um, also, the possibility to to go deeper in the building up. But yeah, with this freedom to 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 go forward and to go back one. Um, but yeah, we, I am playing like this, I think, um, because uh, last game run is playing like a six and then yep. to attacking midfielder. And yeah, I, I feel really, really good in this position. Um, I want to improve. I want to <laughs> to achieve more assists, more goals. Um, that's it. I'm, I'm working for that. Yeah. So, so you mentioned scoring going box to box the game yeah, against yeah. Nashville. You played, yeah. you played extremely well. You got your first MLS goal. You seem very excited, uh, kind of a, a weight lifted off. How, how was, how was getting your first goal? Yeah. I'm, I think that uh, this game was over uh, our um, best game in all the, all the season because uh, we do almost everything well. As uh, the pressing, uh, attacking, uh, scoring goal, uh, defending our uh, our goal, um, having a lot of chances to score, um, and overall uh, play at home with our fans, and I think that everybody was uh, was uh, enjoying and be fun. Um, yeah, this is the 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 good point that we have that we are winning a lot of games at home. At least, where our fans are enjoying. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I love that goal. That was probably one of my favorite goals of the season, by the way. Yeah. So th- thanks for <laughs> thanks for doing that. So, um, so you you got a chance to play Chelsea uh, last week. So as fans, we were obviously very excited to play a, a club like Chelsea here in Charlotte. But what was it like for you to play against a, a team like that here? Um, and then was there any like one player that you were looking forward to playing against from Chelsea? Uh, first of all, uh, it was tough you know <laughs> they run a lot but <laughs> yeah. at the same time it was amazing i mean uh you are playing against uh one of the best uh, teams in the world uh with amazing players um i don't know for the for the uh, not all not uh for us for all the people for all the fans for the city i think that is amazing that uh, we are a, a new club with less than a year uh, in the competition um we are facing with our best team. Um, we win, so yeah, right. uh, this is amazing. But yeah, uh, for me, uh, in my case, in the midfielder, I I face with uh, Jorginho with uh, Kovacitas. So <laughs> I have uh, watching him there in the in the TV, and right now I'm playing yeah. against them. <laughs> so you know, it's it's incredible. But overall, I I enjoy a lot. I think that the, this game was for that, for enjoy. Um, it was a, a great day for for everybody. Nice. So, the you, you mentioned it earlier. You know, the past few weeks have been up and down. We lose against Miami, we beat Chelsea, and then we had a bad defeat against Toronto. Um, how was training today? You know, what can we expect this weekend against Columbus, and how do we how do we bounce back? Yeah, um, I try to speak a lot with my teammates and with the staff. Um, we are trying to to keep the balance between the, the wins and the loss. I mean, uh, we can't um, celebrate a win like uh, is the best in the world. And then when we lost, we are sad and we have to, to try to keep this balance. And OK, we win, it's good, but we have to try more and try to win the next week and uh, the same if we lost. Um, this week we are training very hard and we know that we have lost uh, two two games in a row and we have three games at home. So it's our opportunity to, to achieve uh, as much uh, points as we can. Um, if we want really want to be in the playoff, we, can, we have to show this, uh, these three games. I mean, we we play at home and uh, uh, yeah, if we it's, it's uh, I think the the most important uh, game we have uh, in the in the next week to to show that we deserve to be in in the playoff. Yeah, it will definitely make some noise for you this weekend. So we'll we'll, we'll make sure it's <laughs> it's good for you there. So um, so outside of soccer, I know like you probably had a, a ton of games and training. You may not have had a, a bunch of time, but um, what's been your favorite thing to do in Charlotte so far when you have a day off or if you're not training? Yeah, um, I have family and a, a, and a <laughs> son and a dog. Um, there are a lot of uh, parks and green, green areas to be. Um, I like it. I used to, to go to work with the family and to spend time in the, in the nature. Um, also here in the southern area, I like it because there are a lot of uh, restaurants and a lot of uh, things to do. Um, yeah, I live in the in uptown, so I have close uh, everything. Um, yeah, I'm happy here because uh, it's a city, but it's like a, a small city with a lot of things to do, but at the yeah. same time, you have this uh, calm and this uh, relax to, to spend your time. Yeah. Do you, do you have a favorite restaurant? Um, I used to go to uh, uh, Sunflower, I say, or uh, I don't know the name. It's uh, in the Red Tray in Southern, next to the Red Tray. Um, yeah, I like okay. it. Yeah, very nice. All <laughs> right, so so last last question. Uh, on a previous episode, um, you know, it's kind of the midway of the season. We all kind of went around and, and gave our top three favorite moments of the season this far. Would love to get you know maybe your your top three favorite moments of the season. Uh, maybe uh, uh, the first game at home because uh, the stadium was uh, full of people and 
I know the, the environment and the atmosphere was amazing. Uh, then my my first goal in, in the yeah. club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we were suffering with a uh, 2-1 and yeah, in the last minute I I be able to score and this amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um I think also the the game against Chelsea because it's mm. a, great, a great team and yeah. it was uh, like a, a gift for everybody to play a game like this. Mm. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe also the, our first uh, win away home ah, because, yeah, 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 Houston, yeah. because <laughs> we have been lost in a lot of games away <laughs> and it's like this have, be, have to be the, the, the opportunity to win and the 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 wish were uh, going and going and going and we didn't achieve but finally yeah against Houston uh was a, a great victory for us. Nice. Awesome. Well- well, I know you don't have a, a, a ton of time and, and thank you for taking the time to, to chat with us. We'll have to get you back on and ask you some more questions because I have like a hundred more I want to ask, but um, <laughs> I really appreciate it. Good luck the rest of the season. Good luck against Columbus. Hope we see you out there and maybe score another goal. <laughs> I hope that. <laughs> I wish that. <laughs> thank All right. You. Thank you so much. And uh, It was a pleasure. And yeah, in the future, if you, you want, we can do a game. All right. Sounds good. We'll awesome. keep you that. All 